Hi everyone, it's John the Dyslexic Geek here. In today's video, I'm going to go through every new Lego set that is going to be coming out in July. After an absolutely crazy June, July is rather rather quiet with not many sets coming out at all in fact. Which isn't a bad thing because as I say, June was incredibly busy with so many great sets. And I'm looking forward to August. August is looking just insane. So July is a nice little welcome break with not so many sets coming out so it does help the wallet a little little bit. But there's some a couple of nice sets coming out that you might, might take your interest. So first up we have a Brickheads. This is the Iron Man Mark V. This one will be costing $10 or £10 and does have 101 pieces. Fine looking Brickhead, nothing too spectacular if I'm, being, if I'm being honest. But if you're collecting all your Iron Man Brickheads, you might want to consider picking this one up. There's also thought to be a Batman 18 one but that's not yet been officially confirmed and it's not on the LEGO website, but it is thought to be coming out on July the 1st, so that may well be announced in the next few days, but it's not been announced at the moment technically, so bear in mind that may come out, but it could well slip to August, so just bear that in mind. Now in the US, you get three Disney sets. Now these are all already out in the UK. These, these, these did come out in June, starting off with Ariel's Music Stage. This one is priced at $16 and has 60 pieces. We also get Ariel's Crystal Cavern, priced at $30, and this has 141 pieces. Not quite sure why LEGO releasing these Ariel sets this year. It would have made more sense to release them last year in, in conjunction with the Little Mermaid movie, but that's what that's, that's, that's the way they've done it. And lastly is Elsa's Ice Palace. This one is priced at $100, but in this you get 630 pieces. Now this is a really expensive set I feel, especially for the amount of pieces you get. Not a bad looking set, but I think it's very expensive for what it is. Um, but yeah, if you, if you are thinking about getting this, you certainly would like to hang on for a sale, I would have thought. In July we get a couple of icon set. The first being the Lamborghini Countach 5000 Quattro... I can't even pronounce that. This is going to be available for early access for insider members from the 1st of July and then available for non-members from July the 4th and it will be costing $180 or £160 and then this you get 1,506 pieces. I'm still not sure about this. Uh, I really wish LEGO had done a different colour than white. Um, it really does look like a, a really upscaled version of the Speed Champion set. I mean, it's a good rendition of, of the Countach, don't get me wrong, I think it's, been, it's, it's probably the best job that LEGO could probably have done with it. Uh, I'm not sure about it on the side arm panel, it's all the little gaps of the bricks, it doesn't really work that well if I've been perfectly honest, but that's the only part of the set I'm being critical of, I, I'm not sure from the side angle it looks that great. Um, the rear end looks okay, the lights maybe look, look, look a little bit big, but that's not too bad, but I do like the big chunky tyres at the rear, that looks pretty cool. Uh, I just wish it would be a different colour, and um, if LEGO were going to do another Countach, uh, or even maybe it would have been nice maybe for another Lamborghini, like, like the Mucho Largo. Oh, I'd love to see that in Lego form. It just seems a little bit safe. Um, I don't know whether I do pick it up or not. I, I very much doubt it. If I do, it would need a, a significant discount. I love my cars. My, I do love my cars, but I don't really want another white car. If you know what I mean? I, I say it would have, I just I keep saying it. I just wish it was another colour. And so this just looks a bit dull in white, uh, especially after a few years ago, or last year, or a couple of years ago, we got the Porsche 911. That was also white, as you can see on the uh, shelf here, sit down here. Yeah, it just, it just feels a little bit safe, if you know what I mean. But if you're interested in picking this up, it is coming out on July the 1st. And the second of the icon set is the, is the Transformer uh, Bumblebee. This will be priced at $90 or £80, and this you get 950 pieces. Again, this will be available for early access for insider members from July the 1st, and then available to, to non-members from July the 4th. I am very much considering picking this up in July, as there's very little else coming out. Uh, I would like to see it on display, um, maybe a little bit overpriced perhaps, I'm not quite sure. I do like it, um, I do have the Optimus Prime from a couple of years back, so I will get it at some point. Um, it's whether I wait for a sale on this. Uh, Optimus Prime was heavily reduced in the UK, it's regularly on sale, so I might well consider waiting. Uh, if I do take it, I'm not, I'm not sure if I'll be taking a trip to the Lego store this month, as there's not really a huge amount coming out. I have to wait and see, and if I do, hopefully I'll see it on display before I'm making final judgement. But it looks fine, I think it certainly looks better in, in robot form than it does in car. Um, I don't think it looks great in car form, if I'm perfectly honest. But for me, I, I never transform my Optimus Prime, so I'd always have it in robot form, so that doesn't, do, that doesn't really bother me too much. And uh, I think when you, when you see it on display next to Optimus, it does look really good in fact. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, it's fine. I, I don't know if it's too expensive, I think the price is fine, but... 
Yeah, it's not t trem tremendously exciting. I, I would, would have been nice to have a, a, a nice a, a Decepticon, uh, maybe a sound way that might have been a little bit more interesting. But yeah, I, hopefully I'll see it on display at some point and uh, and we'll see. But I, I might just hang on for a sale if I'm sensible. I should, yeah, if I'm sensible, I, should, I really should wait for a sale on this one. And that is it for, for sets that are coming in July. As I say, not a huge amount coming out. But do bear in mind that we do. We are now going to be getting a series one of Bricklink sets coming out. Uh, these are now starting to ship to people. I've seen a few people who have got these already. Uh, mine are currently in the warehouse. So I am eagerly anticipating them coming to me. Uh, hopefully I'll get mine in the next couple of, next couple of weeks. I've got a mountain fortress and the general store coming. So I'm super excited. I'm very envious of seeing people who have got theirs in hand already. So I'm eagerly anticipating mine arriving. I, I can't wait to get my hands on them. I'm really looking forward to it. But yeah, these will be shipping very soon. So anyone who's got their, their, their order pre-ordered, uh, you should be getting yours within the next couple of weeks. And hopefully you should, like mine, they might well, might well perhaps be, have been charred and sitting in a warehouse waiting for dispatch. So that's pretty cool with not many sets coming out in July. These are two, these are the sets to really look, look, look forward to. And these are quite expensive. So it's not too bad having a quiet July. So that's pretty reasonable. Then looking forward to August. Now August is looking just absolutely insane. There's so many great sets coming out. With another wave of Star Wars sets coming out. Uh, in the US you will get your Monkey Kid sets and Ninjago sets that the UK got in June. Uh, but let's look at a few of the sets that are going to be coming out. There's still quite a lot left to, left to be revealed. Uh, we get the next wave of the Dream sets. The biggest one in fact that Lego have done so far. The Castle Noctur Nocturnia I think that's pronounced. And this is so far the most expensive Lego Dream set that Lego have done so far. $200, 1,742 pieces. It looks pretty spectacular, I must admit, of all the Dream sets that Lego have done so far. This looks quite interesting, very expensive, um, but it looks pretty cool. So you've got a few different customization options for it. So that's something to look forward to if you're collecting Dreams. We get the Milano coming out next month. Uh, that's gonna be, that looks pretty cool. So I'm very much looking forward to this. Price at $180 and you should get 2,090 pieces. I'm not sure I want to rush out, rush out and buy, buy on day one. It certainly will go very nicely with the better tour from a year or two ago, or that retired last year. So yeah, I've got my eye on this, but I probably will wait for a sale. Oh yeah, I certainly will be waiting for a sale on this one. That was the, 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 the Benatar was heavily reduced in the UK, but looks great. Um, it, it certainly will go really well next to it. Comes with five minifigures, so it looks pretty decent. Well, four minifigures and a baby group. So that's something that's pretty decent. Now also we get another Star Wars wave coming out. Uh, they get the new Imperial Star Destroyer. This is going to be $160. It is up for pre-order right now, if you so wish. Um, does look pretty good, good version of the Imperial Star Destroyer. Certainly is a, a play set. Does have a, the 25th anniversary um, Cal Kestis minifigure. So I bet that's really cool. It does look good. Um, I did have the previous one from seven or eight years ago. I can't believe it's been that long since Lego done a Star Destroyer. So, so it's really good to see this one coming back again. It does look quite cool. So yeah, I'm, I've got my eye on this. Not sure. It's not on a rush out and buy, buy on day one. I probably might wait for a sale on this one, but it is going to be coming out on August the 1st. And of course, we get a couple of sets that are going to be based on the Rebuild the Galaxy Star Wars um, special that LEGO are doing um, for Disney+. Plus. This one being the Dark Falcon, which was officially announced a few days ago. Again, this will be coming out on August the 1st. So this looks great. I must admit, all the minifigures look fantastic. Uh, I really do like this take on the Millennium Falcon. It does look really good in black. Uh, especially with all the red um, dotted all over the all over the build, really does stand out. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. I've got my eye on this. I don't know if I want to buy it on day one, but I've, I might well do. I don't know. I have to, I'll have to wait and see. I, maybe when the promo has become available in July, I might put in a pre-order. Um, I have to wait and see, but I really would like it. I do love the white Darth Vader. It looks excellent, and the Darth Jar Jar. Very cool looking set. So there you go, that is everything coming out in July. I say not a huge amount, but there certainly are a lot of things to look forward to. Can let, please let me know in the comments what sets you are thinking, like, thinking about picking up in July, if anything, or are you really looking forward to your Bricklink Series 1 sets coming? Can I please ask, leave a like? And if you've enjoyed today's video, I'm very grateful if you consider subscribing today. I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Thanks very much for watching today.